In this video, we are going to cover the basics of time alignment when working with Vocaline. Now, I'm going to be using Vocaline Pro and Pro Tools in ARA mode for the duration of this video, but a lot of what I'm saying will apply to any DAW or plugin format that you're working with and Vocaline Standard in addition to Vocaline Pro. So let's dive in. Okay, so I have two vocal tracks over here. Let's have a quick listen. Oh, it hurts to see you hurting. See you crying in the rain. No, it's, no, it's not, not a happy, happy ending, ending. But, but it's, it's gonna, gonna be someday. Okay, some obvious timing issues. Let's go on. You'll, You'll be healing, please, please believe me, or it's gonna, gonna take its time. time. Oh. It's not easy on the sidelines, always show hope is mine. So obviously we need to take care of some of these issues. Now the very first rule when it comes to time alignment is we need to have one track that becomes the guide that all of the others need to be aligned to. So you have one master reference for timing. So in this case, that is going to be this top track over here. The first thing I need to do is get these sent over to Vocaline. In Pro Tools, we do this by simply right-clicking. You can head over to the SyncRarts website or the SyncRarts YouTube channel for more information on how to do this in your DAW of choice. Now, the next thing that we need to do is quite simply, we need to capture our guide and capture our dub. So the guide, we already spoke about what this is. Let's go ahead and capture our guide. And as you can see, this has been brought into the GUI over here. Now I'm going to select this clip underneath. And in this case, we're going to capture the dub. The dub is essentially any track that we're bringing in that we want to align to the guide track. So whether this is a harmony, whether this is a unison, anything like that, this is referred to as a dub track. And we can have more than one dub track available in Vocaline 6 Pro. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna choose a preset. So let's go with slightly loose timing. I'm gonna choose this as the option and let's capture this. Now, one of the other areas that we see a massive improvement in Vocaline 6 Pro is with respect to sync points. So if you have an area such as this right over here, if we zoom into this section just momentarily, take note that we've made some adjustments here and this isn't quite aligning as it should. If we zoom in nice and close on this area, we have the ability to right click and we can add a sync point. Now from here, we can simply drag and drop to exactly where this is supposed to be. And notice that this has fixed that particular issue. For the most part, the show audio waveforms is the most useful feature in terms of a visual representation of what's happening with your timing. Now we can click, hold and drag at the bottom here if we wanted to zoom in on a very specific section. And if we can scroll across over here, let's focus on this part, for example. Now notice in the top right, we have the ability to basically show or hide these different panels. I'm only going to be working with timing here. So let's start by taking the timing preference off. Notice this shift that we see with all the audio. I'm going to put it back on now, and now let's go really tightly in terms of our alignment. Notice how things are kind of like brought into place. Either they're being pulled or pushed until we basically see that they're being fit inside this pocket a little bit better. Now, in terms of the waveform display overview, we have a couple different options. We can adjust the scaling of our guide track over here. And as you can see, this is adjusting this in the top track. In addition to that, it's also adjusting the yellow outline that we see in the output track. This can be useful if you have tracks that are either recorded too low or too hot. You have the ability to change the vertical height without changing the actual level. And then last but not least, we have the ability to adjust the actual output. I generally like to put it so that it's kind of sitting inside to the same vertical height as the actual output of the timing over here. Now, for the most part, we're looking to align things, but if for any reason you wanted to have a section that you didn't want to align, we can right click and we can add a protected area and we can protect the timing. And then all I have to do is simply adjust these flags and take note that as I adjust this, that my output is updating and it's re-rendering. So in this particular area, you can have multiple different protected areas if you're not getting the exact result that you're looking for. We can adjust the alignment rule. So I could go, for example, from normal flexibility up to high flexibility. And as we do that, take note that we just see these subtle shifts and we could go to maximum compression. Now we see something that's a little bit more aggressive, but it looks like it might visually sit a little bit better. But at the end of the day, we always need to be auditioning our work. Oh, it's not easy on the sidelines. Oh, I wish your help was mine. Now we also have the ability to determine a maximum shift. So this is the maximum amount that we are going to allow the timing to be adjusted. In most cases, having no limit is a good idea, but if you ever find that things are kind of getting out of whack, you can try some of these different options. 
So in terms of the basics, that is pretty much it. We have our timing preference, which we can toggle on and off globally. We have an amount over here that we can adjust from loose to super tight. We have different alignment rules if we're not getting the exact results, but I think 99% of the time you are probably going to be fine with the normal flexibility mode. Now we also have the ability to add some sync points in certain areas if you need to do some manual adjustments where things aren't quite working as you want them to. You can adjust some manual sync point to kind of give Vocaline a hand if you think it needs it. And then we have the option to clear all sync points. Before we do that though, also take note that we can click the undo option. And if we wanted to back up any of our work or anything like that, we can get rid of those sync points like that as well. Now, the last thing I want to take a look at with respect to timing is Smart Align. So this is something that was added in a previous version of Vocaline, but it can be really, really useful, specifically if things don't seem to be aligning as they should. Now, take a look at what has happened here. Notice that the actual dub track, it's the third and the fourth phrase that is repeating. If we take a look at this, we can see that the third and the fourth phrase of this background harmony are supposed to be happening over here. But if we take a look at where it is in Vocaline, they've been shifted to the front. We can also see an indication from this heat map. This is glowing quite a lot. So this is a really good indication that you might have to look at something or something isn't being processed as it should. Let's click this Smart Align option and take a look at what happens. It automatically just kind of does the math. And it's also worth mentioning that a lot of the modern presets that have been added already have this on by default. So that is the basics when working with time alignment in Vocaline Pro. Hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.